A sweet soul who loved to learn. That's how the principal at Centennial Elementary School in Dixon described Joe Clyde Daniels. Three years later, baby Joe is still deeply missed. News 2's Haley Wilgus now shows us how the school is honoring his memory in our day-long special reports, The Case of Baby Joe. A charming smile that captured hearts at his school. Sweet little boy. He would come in smiling every morning. Uh, his teachers just loved him. They, um, he was just a sweet soul. Just that grin. I won't ever forget that grin. Joe Clyde Daniels was in kindergarten at Centennial Elementary School in Dixon. His principal, Christy Sheely, says their campus was shaken by his disappearance and presumed death. But it was a tragedy for our whole community. Um, our school in particular, because his teachers worked with him and, and saw growth and, and loved to be with him. Around the school, there are tributes to the beloved young student known affectionately as Baby Joe. This is a painting Joe did in art class the, the week before he left us. Artwork and a copy of a resolution from the Tennessee House of Representatives to honor his memory. Sheely says there was an outpouring of support from the Middle Tennessee community and beyond. So we have many, many books in our library that came from all over the country. Uh, people would drive by and just drop off apples because we had decided as a school that's what we would do for all of our students was just give everybody an apple and we agreed that we would talk about how sweet he was and how much we'd miss him and that's all we talked about. Apples were Joe Clyde's favorite snack and now there is a permanent tribute to that memory of him outside the school. A woman who lives in Columbia donated two apple trees. It just goes on and on. It, it doesn't stop with, you know, the a year's anniversary or two years anniversary. It doesn't stop. I don't know that it ever will. Um, I really hope for some closure for all the people that loved him. I still hope they find something. I hope I hope for justice. I pray for mercy. Closure and justice may not fully mend the broken hearts of those who loved baby Joe, but may provide some healing for a community still hurting. In Dixon, Haley Wilgus, News 2. Joe Clyde's father, Joseph Daniels, has been charged with criminal homicide in baby Joe's death. He was in a hearing today, as we showed you at the top of the hour. His wife, Crystal Daniels, is also facing a charge of aggravated child neglect or endangerment. And we'll have much more on the baby Joe case coming up on News 2 at 5 and watch the hearing as it happens. We are actually live streaming the proceedings all day on WKRN.com.